This is my predictions for the Bahrain Grand Prix. So it's that time of the year again, it's race week. It's the first race of the season and we haven't seen every team's pace, so some of these predictions might be bold, but I'm pretty confident in it. I will tell you the race finishing order and also tell you who I predict will have the most disappointing race. I will also tell you who will have the best race. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. So starting with who will have the most disappointing weekend, I have to say Oscar Piastri. No, I don't think he will finish in last place, but the McLaren doesn't look good right now and he's also a rookie. I know the Williams is even slower and Logan Sargent is a rookie as well but I do think the expectations is higher for Oscar Piastri. And who do I think will have the best race weekend? Well I got to go with Fernando Alonso. The Aston Martin looks good and Fernando Alonso well he had some great performances last season and I really think we'll have a good weekend. With that out of the way let's get into the finishing order. In last place I have Logan Sargent. It won't be a bad race for him but like I mentioned he's a rookie and the Williams will be the slowest car on the grid. In P19 and this might be a big surprise but I think Yuki Chino I don't expect much from Alpha Tauri and I know most people say Yuki will do better than Nick DeFries but I don't think so. Moving on to P18 we have Oscar Piastri. I really think McLaren will be slow but I hope I'm wrong. In P17 I have Alex Albon. Similar to the drivers I've already mentioned the car just doesn't have the pace to do better. Moving on to P16 we have Nick DeFries. The next two drivers is the Haas driver. I know this is a bold prediction because Nico Hulkenberg had a year out of the car but I do think he will beat Kevin Magnussen in the race. So in P15 we have Kevin Magnussen and his teammate Nico Hulkenberg in P14. In P13 I have Guan Yu Zhou. I know he scored points here last season but the Alfa Romeo doesn't have the same pace and my prediction is that the top 5 is much faster than the last 5. This means if there isn't a retirement in the top 5 the other drivers will have a really hard time. In P12 I have Landon Norris. Like I mentioned I wish the McLaren was a bit faster but it doesn't look good. In P11 I have Felipe Drogovic or Lance Stroll. The Aston Martin is so fast and I think Fernando Alonso driving it can fight in the top 5 this weekend but Felipe Drogovic has less experience and Lance Stroll well if he's back I think he might still be struggling with his injury. Do I think he will be back? Well no I think we'll see Felipe Drogovic. Now going to the top 10. In 10th place we have Valtteri Bottas. In 9th place I have Pierre Gasly. He still needs to get used to the Alpine but I'm sure he will score some points. His teammate Esteban Ocon will finish in P8 but they will be far ahead of P10. In P7 we have Fernando Alonso but don't be surprised if you see him racing in the top 5 this weekend. In P6 we have Lewis Hamilton. I know it's a bold prediction putting him in front of Russell but I just think Russell is going to be even faster this year. In 5th place like I mentioned we have George Russell. Now going to the top 4. This is only Ferrari and Red Bull drivers and most people will probably say I got this order wrong but in P4 I have Sergio Perez. I just don't think Red Bull will be the fastest in Bahrain but I do believe they have the fastest car. In 3rd place we have Carlos Sainz and now going to the top 2. In 2nd place I have to say Max Verstappen just because the Ferrari is normally the fastest car around Bahrain but like I said in my season prediction video I think Max Verstappen will win the drivers championship so the Bahrain Grand Prix race winner will be Charles Leclerc. Let me know your predictions in the comment section and thanks for watching I will see you in the next video.